There are some things every Christian knows, or at least should know. What is sin? Who is Jesus? Why do we need him? If you're a Christian in 2017, there are other things you should know as well, like how to answer the question, is abortion a sin or is homosexuality wrong? Often the people asking the question already know the answer. They aren't really trying to understand what sin is. They're trying to figure out something about you. Are you a Christian Christian or just a Christian? And the way you answer will say a lot about you. Now you're tempted to dodge. You do want to be able to speak the truth in love, but you don't want to turn people away from Jesus. Honestly, you wish they hadn't asked the question, but they did and now they're staring at you. What should you do? Create a diversion? Change the subject? Fake a seizure? Or you could say something like this. Yes, abortion and homosexuality are some of the many ways people fail to meet God's standard. One thing all of us have in common is that every day we feel compelled to do things we know we shouldn't do. We didn't ask for it. We were born that way. As a result, we've lied, stolen, cheated, hated, and so much more, even though we knew it was wrong when we did it. We are all sinners. But that's only half the story. And if we stop there, we'll all just be depressed. The good news is there is a solution to all of our sin. Acknowledging our failures and struggles is what allows Jesus to do the work he needs to do inside of us so we don't have to carry it around anymore. Jesus is ready to forgive us, and he is also ready to release us from the shame and condemnation that follow us around because of our sin. And he's ready to help us begin a life where we aren't a slave to those things anymore. Now, suddenly, a question designed to show how hateful you are has become an opportunity to show how good Jesus is. No, this isn't a silver bullet, and no, the right phrase isn't going to magically convert everyone you meet. But it allows you to point people to Jesus. Or you could fake a seizure and see how that goes. Now, you've probably experienced moments like this already, and if you haven't, you will. So be ready. But whether you will be ready for this moment depends on a little study, a little preparation, as well as your view of the gospel. You see, you can't speak the truth in love if you don't actually believe the truth is loving. Now, fortunately, it is. We just need to be a little better at explaining why. If you've appreciated this information, share it with a friend, like, or subscribe below. For the Family Policy Institute of Washington, I'm Joseph Backholm.